Hello, you are welcome. To solve for x and y in this nice algebra equation, let this be equation 1 and this be equation 2. From equation 2, we have x plus y equals to 2. Let's raise both sides to power 3 here. This side raised to power 3. Then this side raised to power 3. And from here, the expansion here becomes x raised to power 3 plus y raised to power 3 plus 3xy into bracket x plus y now equals to 2 raised to power 3 here we have 8. Then from here we have from the same equation 2 x plus y equals to 2. Now when we substitute that here we have x raised to power 3 plus y raised to power 3. Now plus 3xy times 2 that will give us 6xy now equals to 8 from here. Then let's take 6xy here. Then this implies that we have x raised to power 3 plus y raised to power 3 equals to 8 minus 6xy. So let's label this as equation 3 from here. Then also from the same equation 2, we have x plus y equals to 2. Now let's square both sides, square this side and also we square this side and then from here the expansion here gives us x square plus y square plus 2xy now equals to 2 square here we have 4. Then also from here let's take 2xy here and we have x square plus y square now equals to 4 minus 2xy and let's divide this as equation 4. Then from here the next step let's multiply equation 3 and equation 4. So equation 3 multiplied by equation 4 and from there the left hand side of equation 3 we have x raised to power 3 plus y raised to power 3 then multiply by the left hand side of equation 4 we have x square plus y square then equals to we multiply the right hand side as well so in equation 3 we have 8 minus 6 xy then multiply by equation 4 we have 4 minus 2 xy and from what we have here we expand on this side x raised to power 3 open the bracket so x cube times s square that will give us x raised to power 5 then plus s cube times y square that's x cube y square then y raised to power 3 also open so y cube times s square we can still write it as x square y cube then plus y cube times y square that gives us y raised to power 5 now equals to on this side as well we expand 8 times 4 here we have 32 then minus 8 times 2 xy we have 16 xy then minus 6 xy also multiply here we have minus 24 xy then minus 6xy times minus 2xy give us plus 12xy square. When xy multiply xy, we have xy square. Then from what we have here, we can rewrite this. Let's group x raised to power 5. Then plus y raised to power 5 here. Together. Then from what we have here. We can factor x square, y square out from these two terms. Then what is left here will be x. Then what is left here is y, which is now equals to here on this side. 
we can write this as 32 minus here minus 16xy minus 24xy give us minus 40xy then we have plus 12xy square from here which implies from here from equation 1 we have x raised to power 5 plus y raised to power 5 to be 152 so here we have 152 here then plus also here we can write this as x y or square then x plus y from equation 2 that's 2 which equals to here we have 32 minus 40 x y then plus 12 x y or square then from what we have here let's bring everything to one side and rearrange let's rearrange this side first and take this side here so on this side we have 12 x y or square then we have minus okay when we take this here this is 2xy squared become minus 2xy or squared then we have minus 40xy here and from here we have plus 32 then when we take 152 here we have minus 152 now equals to zero from here then from what we have these are like terms x y square x y square and this becomes 10 x y or squared then minus 40 x y then here give us plus 32 minus 152 minus 120 now equals to zero on this side then from here we can divide through by 10 such that here remain x y or squared 10 minus here remain 4 x y then minus 12 equals to 0 from here then from here let's use a letter to represent x y so let's u be equals to x y then this becomes u square minus 4 u minus 12 now equals to 0 from here and from what we have here we can factorize this quadratic equation and this become u square minus 6u plus 2u then minus 12 equals to 0 from here and then what is common here we have u then into bracket u minus 6 plus what is common here we have 2 then into bracket u also minus 6 left equals to 0 from here then we have u minus 6 common so u minus 6 then into bracket we have u plus 2 left here which is equals to 0 from here then the two cases here we have u minus 6 equals to 0 or we have u plus 2 equals to 0 from here and which implies here u equals to 6 and here u equals to minus 2 now from here since we let u to be equals to xy so we can say that xy here is equals to 6 and on this side xy equals to minus 2 now from here let's solve this together with equation 2 from equation 2 we have x plus y equals to 2 and also same thing here x plus y equals to 2 then when we solve this from here we can make y the subject from here and here this become y equals to 6 over x when we divide both sides by x then here we can replace y here as 6 over x then we have x plus 
6 over x that equals to 2 from here then when we clear this fraction and multiply through by x here this become x square plus 6 now equals to 2x and from here this give us when we take everything to one side we have x square minus 2x plus 6 equals to 0 from here then also on this side we also make y the subject here and we have y equals to minus 2 over x which implies that here we substitute y and we have x will now be minus 2 over x equals to 2 now multiply through by x here this one also give us x square minus 2 equals to 2x and when we take 2x to this side we have x square minus 2x minus 2 now equals to 0 from here using the quadratic formula to solve this we have x will be equals to minus minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 square minus 4 times 1 times 6 then over 2 times 1 then when we solve here we have x equals to here become 2 then plus or minus square root of here we have 4 then minus here give us 24 then over 2 which implies that here we have x equals to 2 plus or minus root minus 20 then over 2 and here it implies that we can separate root minus 20 as root 4 times 5 then times minus 1 and here root 4 is 2 so we have 2 root 5 and root minus 1 is i so we have 2 root 5 i as root minus 20 and here we have x equals to 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 i over 2 which here 2 can divide through here and this becomes x equals to 1 plus or minus root 5 i and from here to get the corresponding value of y from the same equation 2 which we have x plus y equals to 2 we can recall here we make y the subject then y will be equals to 2 minus x so using this here then we have y for this part will be y equals to 2 minus x which is plus or minus 1 plus or minus root 5i then which implies that here we have y equals to 2 minus 1 then minus plus root 5i and from here we have y to be equals to 1 minus plus root 5i so here we have the corresponding value of y for this value of x we have here we have the corresponding value of y to be this now on this side as well when we solve this quadratic equation 2 from the quadratic formula we have x now equals to minus minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times minus 2 then over 2 times 1 and here we have x to be equals to 2 plus or minus root here give us 4 then plus minus times minus plus that's plus 8 there then over 2 which implies we have from here x equals to 2 plus or minus root 12 over 2 and here we have x equals to 2 plus or minus root 12 is 4 times 3 which is now 2 root 3 then over 2 so here 2 we go 
in each of these, we have s equals to 1 plus or minus root 3. So we have the value of x here as this. Then to get the corresponding value of y, also we use this relation. Then we say y will now be equals to 2 minus 1 plus or minus root 3. Then y will now be equals to 2 minus 1, then minus plus root 3, which implies here that we have y equals to 1 minus plus root 3. So also we have the value of y for this problem.